Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi. So I am a Dr. Lee Vickers author of Bodies of Light and founder of Lightworkers International. And this is... Vitaly Okri, One Future, One Breath. Plug into your one future, become one of the universe. And... I'm Cynthia Siegel, and I'm about to become your new favorite psychic. Yes. Yeah, and of course, what we're talking about today is one future. The fun stuff. Yeah, this is the fun stuff. This is the big stuff. So this is, of course, how uh, that you have one future, only one perfect future that you would hold, right? So there is a highest and best for you to have. To live, would you yes. think? Yes, well think of it this way. I'm normally trying to say it towards just imagine your future in a circle, 360. And there could be possibly multiple ways of outcome from this current moment, from now on and for the future. But it's only one of your future possibilities is going to be highest and best. And this is your divine one future. The rest is going to be 99%, 98%, 50%, depends how you go. But just put it in a circle. Think if you're going straight, you're going back, it's all going to be a future. But it's going to be your highest and best future, we're going to find out. Yeah, and so the whole thing is that um, in this, you're going to be able to test what percent you're having your one future, what percent you are having the highest and best uh, life that you could have, and um, if you're following it, and you're, you can check at home. Of course, you have to be able to raise your vibration to test it, and why is that? Because uh, you can, as... I remember Dr. Lee was saying once, like you can sit all day long as, as, and think as, as long as you want to and think of your future and try to manifest it, but nothing's going to happen. The only reason is why, because you have to have the energy to have this energy to go somewhere to bring your future back. So think of it this way. If you're trying to manifest something and your energy is at the zero, you are stuck. You're not going to track any of your future in any way. And I'm sure Cynthia can confirm that. But the thing is, you have to have enough energy. The higher your energy is, the higher possibilities, you're going to have your one future, you're going to have your divine future, and you will track all the best things that you're willing to have right now. So how much of your best future will you have if you have no energy? <laughs> As zero. Zero. Well, I mean, you can... Why, what is it that stops people's one best future? Well, what, what, and, what, and also, I just want to bring up, we're going to be talking about the future of the planet the future of all mankind, all life on Earth. So stay tuned. I want you guys to know yes. it's going to get very big, very heavy, very real. And how you fit into that and how by you creating your best life in your own little world actually affects the entire planet. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I want us to talk about the people who have kept a vision, a one future vision very strong and made something big on this planet and change the planet for the better. Um, name some, I'll, I'll bring up one. <laughs> I want to say Martin Luther King. Right. He, he believed, the, had a vision, a future vision, a one future vision where no matter your race, your color, your origin, that everyone would be treated equally and that we would all have the same rights uh, independent of our color and our, and our national origin. Which, and interestingly, mm -hmm. uh, Martin Luther King, who um, started his movement in 1955, actually used something called nonviolent civil disobedience, which Mahatma Gandhi yes. used very successfully in India in 1942. And what was his one future vision? Mahatma Gandhi thought that people should have freedom, especially in their own home, and yes. wanted the British to release their rule of India. He successfully did that without anyone raising the gun, without anyone getting hurt. How beautiful And is then that? Mm -hmm. went on to help ease poverty and raise women's rights. Beautiful. Actually, another one I think that was with women's rights also and, and children was uh, Angelina Jolie. She's had, she's had a one future vision to help women across the planet and also I, I think they've had another vision between Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie where uh, they had a vision that of uh, no matter whether you're gay or straight and you know that everyone should be allowed to marry and be who they love. I love that, I that they refused to marry until that became more popular. Well, they, yeah, and they were holding that vision yeah, that's beautiful. as and well. Angelina actually um, <coughs> is dedicating herself now to supporting women refugees and their rights which yes. is a beautiful thing yeah 
And so, what, what are some of the other one future vision uh, visionaries? For the press, I mean, something like you're holding your iPhone in your hands, and you could probably rehearse back. There was a Steve Jobs. Yes. That he has his own divine vision of something better and cooler and more modern and yeah, trendy. Yeah, to be able to everyone they could have a computer in their hand as well as a very trendy and easily. If you look at the way it evolved, where you would have something that would help artists and yes. people be able yes. to create and visionaries and be able to help people. Um, from that perspective, he mm -hmm. did have an amazing, he was a, he definitely had a one future vision. And just recently, um, Leila Johnny, and I hope I'm saying your name right, uh -huh. created a company called Samasource, which brings digital processing, because now we have the internet, yeah. to impoverished countries. She's actually put 26,000 people to work already hmm. in impoverished countries, giving them enough money to raise the standard of living of their whole family, which raises the standard of living of their whole village, yeah. all by teaching them how to use a computer and outsourcing digital processing, mm -hmm. which beautifully now she's rolling into the US calling it Sama USA. Mm. Um, I also want to bring up Oprah because she's made <laughs> such, she had, a, she had a one future vision, which was uh, a positive television and positive uh, television station. And she has, of course, created it and uh, helped millions of people in a positive way. Uh, Sir John Lennon, Sir Elton yes. John. Yeah, well, yeah, well, what about the Beatles? Right, raising right? their vibration yes. of earth through their music. Love and oneness, mm -hmm. and, and, and so that was a, a vision with them. The, uh, what, what other visionaries um, are there? Just so you get an idea of these, these, you understand a one future vision is very clear, very precise, very idealized, mm -hmm. almost utopic mm -hmm. vision. Because if you don't have that perfect vision that you're going to, and you understand that as a light being, as a being of light, <laughs> that you're perfect, that yes. you have perfect creative vibration. And so this perfect light energy has to have a pattern through which to flow and, and, and a way to go. And so, if you just keep thinking and, and being reasonable and saying, oh, well, you know, life can only be this much and that can only be this good, that's what you're going to get. Because that's the direction you're flowing, the creative energy. And of course, you have to have more energy to flow. You have to do bodies of light. Every day. Yeah. And, Multiple um, times. And, 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 and we're going to go deeper. And so I say, um, let's do bodies of light. And we're going to repeat after you. and Because uh, you have to be charged up. It's just a super fast way of supercharging yourself and holding on to more energy so you can have more energy creating your one future. No matter what you do, you can, you can make it, you can make it, you can make the difference in the world and uh, no matter big or small, you make the difference. But really stay tuned because we are going to talk about your one future as well as the future for the human race, whether it be the future of a perfect, very, almost utopic society or complete devastation of the entire planet. Yep. And we're going to give you percentages right now and, and once you, a little later. And so I just want you to stay tuned. This is earth shattering stuff. Yeah. So, but you got to be able to test along with us and, and, and everyone here has to be able to test with us. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right, so let's do... So, I just want to, before we get started, yeah. I want to say the important thing, almost the critical thing, about saying bodies of light is that you have to say it. There has right. to be the creation of sound vibration yes. for this actually to work. So please, repeat after us. Join us. So I'm thinking we're going to do, uh, we can do either God edition or Universal edition, it really doesn't matter for, I think... Um. Let's do univ God? Let's do God edition. Yeah, God feels a little higher, right? Yeah. <clears throat> we test everything. And we want you to learn to test too. We're gonna be doing this in just a second. But as, as always, there are gonna be multiple editions for you. You can have a God, Jesus, Yahweh, Allah, Krishna, universe, goddess. Did I miss something? Buddha, Buddha. Jesus, uh, Jesus, Allah. 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 I mean, it's, it's <laughs> the thing, oh, I just wanna bring this up, is that we're gonna be going into uh, the division on this planet and that if we don't evolve into oneness, and into these energies and testing. We, we feel, we test the one future of the planet um, and are testing that a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. sometimes it's not so great at the rate certain things are going, but there's things that could shift it really quickly. 
that could really create uh, a heaven on earth um, for all of us to enjoy. But let's, let's ever plug now. into happily ever now. Let's plug into the energy though first. All right, so just kick back, enjoy, relax, and repeat after us. So, I am. I am. The, I am. The temple of God. The, the temple, temple of God. God. The light of God. The, the light, light of God. God dwells within me. Dwells within, within me. me. Each of my eight bodies. Each, each of my eight, eight bodies. bodies contains zillions of intelligences. Contains zillions of intelligences. Here and now. Here and now. Directly connected. Directly connected. connected to the light of God. To the light of God. Of God. I direct. I direct every aspect, every aspect of, my eight bodies, of my eight bodies to turn upward, to turn upward, upward to the eternal light of God, to the eternal light of God. All of my eight chakras, all of my eight chakras, and bodies of being, and bodies of being connected, all of my eight chakras all of my eight chakras and bodies of being and bodies of being are now fully open, are now fully open to the light of God, to the light of God. I am at one with God. I am at one with God. My spirit is awake. My spirit is awake and fully open to God. And fully open to God. My spirit receives. My spirit receives all divine communication. All, All divine, divine communication, communication from God. From, from God. God. God's pure light. God's pure light <laughs> shines upon every aspect. Shines, shines upon, upon every aspect, aspect of my etheric body. Of my etheric, etheric body. body. Thank you, God. Thank, Thank you, God, God, for your bells of levitating power. For, for your bells, bells of levitating power, power, raising me upwards. Raising me upwards towards the heavens. Towards, towards the heavens. heavens. And the infinitely powerful. And the, and the infinitely, infinitely powerful, powerful blue shield. Blue, blue shield of electromagnetic. Of, of electromagnetic, electromagnetic insulation, <laughs> insulation. insulation. Which, allows only, which, which allows, allows only the light of God within. The light, the light of God, God within. within. My etheric body, my my etheric body expresses perfect and appropriate. Expresses perfect, expresses perfect and, appropriate. and appropriate. Feelings and emotions. Feelings and emotions. God's pure light. God's, God's pure, pure light. light shines upon every aspect. Shines, shines upon, upon every, every aspect, aspect of my astral body. Of my astral body. Be awake and alert. Be awake and alert. My astral body. My astral body. Thank you, God. Thank, Thank you, God. God. For ease and relax. For easy and relax. Astral travel. Astral travel. Perfect control. Perfect, perfect control. control. And spiritual peace. And spiritual peace. God's pure light. God's pure light shines upon every aspect. Shines upon every aspect of my mental body. Of my mental body. Be awake and alert. Be awake and alert. Be awake and alert. My mental body. My mental no. Mm -hmm. God's pure light shines upon every aspect of my mental body. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, God. For accurate memory. For accurate, accurate memory. memory. Appropriate, appropriate intelligence. Appropriate intelligence. <laughs> Proper relation. Proper relation. And divine timing. And, and divine, divine timing. timing. Of righteous decisions. Of righteous decisions. That's good to have everybody else know it. Right? <laughs> I know. God's pure light. God's pure light. Shines upon every aspect. Shines upon every aspect of my physical body. Of my physical body. This light shines. This light shines from above down. From above down. And inside out. And inside out. Through every cell. Through every cell. Traveling from my brain. Traveling from my brain. Through my forehead and throat. Through my forehead and throat. Permeating all cells of my heart. Permeating all cells of my heart. Following every part of my digestive system. Following every part of my digestive system. System, including my stomach, including my stomach, stomach liver, liver, and intestines, and intestines. Flowing, flowing from my cranium, flowing from my cranium, through my, cranium, through my spine, through my spine, to the sacral base, to the sacral base, creating, base, creating divine stability, creating divine stability, <coughs> through my arms and hands, through my arms and hands, legs and feet, legs and feet. I direct the light. I direct the light. To charge. To charge. My entire nervous system. My entire nervous system. And shine. And shine. And shine through every blood cell. Through every blood cell. Creating perfect. Creating perfect. Homeostasis. Homeostasis. All cells. All cells. Composing my physical body. Composing my physical body. Through God inside. Through God inside. Are in perfect. Are in a perfect. And divine balance. And divine balance. I thank you, God. I Thank you, God, for keeping me at all times. For keeping me at all times. In perfect health. In perfect health. God's pure light. God's pure light shines upon every part. Shines upon every part of every atom. Of every atom. Within me. Within me. God's pure light. God's pure light shines upon the outermost band. Shines upon the outermost band of all atoms within me. Of all atoms within me. Vitalizing, energizing the band. Vitalizing and energizing the band. The perfect spin and balance. Perfect spin and balance. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For divine energy. For divine energy. 
God's, God's pure light, light. God's pure light. Shines, upon shines upon the middle ring. Shines upon the middle ring. Of all atoms within me. Of all atoms within me. Vitalizing and energizing the rings. Vitalizing and energizing the rings. The perfect spin and balance. The perfect spin and balance. Thank, thank you, thank you, for healing. thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. All inherited factors. All inherited factors. And also for the many genetic. And also for the many genetic. Blessings of my ancestors. Blessings of my ancestors. <laughs> thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. All past life karmic patterns. All past life karmic patterns. God's pure light, God's pure light shines, shines upon the innermost band. Shines upon the innermost band of all atoms within me. Of all atoms within me. Vitalizing and energizing the band. Vitalizing and energizing the band. To perfect spin and balance. Perfect spin and balance. Thank, Thank you for healing. healing. Thank you for healing. All traumatic occlusions. All traumatic occlusions. Over my entire existence. Over my entire existence. God's pure intelligence. God's pure intelligence. God's pure intelligence. Exists within every core. Exists within every core. Of every atom. Of every atom. Within me. Within me. It is that intelligence. It is that intelligence. Which is the nothingness. Which is the nothingness. That creates a somethingness. That creates a something. Of my existence. Of my existence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For creating the somethingness. For creating the somethingness. <coughs> from the nothingness. From the nothingness. May the light of God May the light of God enter and stimulate enter and stimulate every outer band every outer band middle rings middle rings inner inner band, band, inner band and core within me and core within me May the light of God May the light of God enter every core enter every core of every atom within of every atom within igniting them in succession igniting them in succession and connect and connect me fully and connect me fully and to the divine light of creation. Oh, wait. Transforming each other. I think we missed something. Oh, okay, okay. Transforming. Let's back up. Igniting each atom in succession. Igniting each atom in succession. Transforming each atom. Transforming each atom. Into an atomic sun. Into an atomic sun. Together forming. Together forming. The universal light of God. The universal light of God. Within me. Within me. Thank you for shining. Thank, Thank you for shining. God's pure light. God's, God's pure light. Into all eight of my bodies. Into all eight of my bodies. Igniting them in succession. Igniting them in succession. And connecting me fully and holy. And, and connecting me fully and holy. To the divine light of creation. To the divine, divine light of creation. Of this. Of this. Of this and every other universe. And every, every other universe. universe. Breathe, right? You have to do three breaths right now. So just inhale with the nose. Exhale with the mouth. And turn <coughs> on the rooftop at the mouth at all times. So just... Breath is a pump. This is basically how you pump the energy, like inflating your flat tire. So just keep on working at it. One more breath. And we're going to ignition part, which is the cue. So let's go. I direct a lot of God. I direct a lot of God. One zillion. One zillion. Times one zillion. Times one zillion. Into every core. Into every core. Of every atom. Of every atom. Within me. Within me. Breathe three times. <coughs> In through your nose, out through your mouth. This is really important. Don't forget to connect your tongue with the top of your mouth. It's connecting your line, your chakras down below with your body. <laughs> Let's go for the next one. Septillion. I drag the light of God. I, I drag the light, light of God. God. One septillion. One, one septillion. Times one septillion. Times one septillion. Into every core. Into every core. Of every atom. Of every atom. Within me. Within me. me. Breathe. Keep on breathing. The next one is Google. I drag the light of God. I drag the light of God. One Google. One Google. Times one Google. Times one Google. Into every core. Into every core. Of every atom. Of every atom. Within me. Within me. Breathe. Inhale with the nose. Exhale with the mouth. The breath is the pump. It's really important. This is plugging you into infinite consciousness, testing your one future. Your clarity, wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> I love knowledge yes next one is a Google Plex I drag the light of God I direct the light of God one Google Plex one Google Plex times one Google Plex times one Google Plex into every core into every core of every atom every atom within me within me breathe <sighs> 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 
<sighs> Gotta really pump it in. No slacking back there. <laughs> I know what you do it or not. Because <laughs> we can feel you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next part is ignition. So you gotta really say it. Igniting. Igniting. Each atom. Each atom. In succession. In succession. In succession. Transforming. 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 Each atom. Each atom. Into an atomic sun. Into, into an, an atomic, atomic sun. sun. Together, together, together for, for me. me. Together for me. <laughs> the universal, the universal light, light of God. God. The universal God. light of God. Within me. me. Within me. And one more thing, anytime you do the breath, after you're doing bodies of light, anytime something comes up to your body, like a flame, you want to spit yeah, and cough it out, this is like just go for it, it's good for you, yeah, your body good. just cleanse it out, just push the things away from your body, it's not helping you anymore, so just keep it up. So now let's uh, do into our um, best life and then to our divine, divine one future yeah. of planet Earth. Just divine one future, we'll okay. be talking about that. So okay. do best life. Okay, so uh, let's do my best life, which is everything your best life is, which is your you relationship, like health, wealth, happiness, success, my love. Life. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, I direct the light of God. In space. <laughs> I direct the light of God. I direct the light of God. <laughs> one Googleplex. One, one Googleplex. Can we say power? Times one Googleplex. Times one Googleplex. Times one Googleplex. That's one Google Play. That's one Google Play. Into my best life. Into my best life. And breathe. Okay, let's do into my divine one future next. Yeah. I direct the light of God. I direct, I direct the light of God. God. One Googleplex. One Googleplex. That's 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 one Googleplex. Into my divine. Into my divine. One future. Future. Breathe. Inhale with the nose. Exhale with the mouth. Tongue. The roots up with the mouth at all times. Plug it in. And you can do three, nine, twenty-seven, as many breaths as you can do, and you probably can kind of notice it. I mean, we do bodies of light at all times, and we plug into the energy at all times. But the thing is, when you do in a group of people, when you we kind of you kind of help each other. So I mean, mm -hmm. by doing right now, we help each other to go even higher, mm -hmm. and you yeah. can tell. I mean, even we kind of go a little brighter, a little smile, a little and more happier. Why, <laughs> why isn't everyone um, having one future visions? I love this. Because they they just not plug in, they constipated, they blocked. Because their energy is so low. And, yes. and one of the things, that, and now you're able to start testing. Yeah. Um, some of the other yeah. videos you should be able to learn. We'll do a quickie, right? So put your hands like here. Go yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes, no, no, no. Yes, no, no, no. yes, yes. yes. No, no, no. No, no, no. Now, no, it's sticky. Now do this. Here, we get, we're going quick. You can see it on the other videos, but we're yes. going to get rid of testing. Yes, yes, yes. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. So now this gets sticky on the percentages. So let's do an easy one. What percent do I love me? Everyone says. What percent do I love me? Yeah. Yeah. What percent? When do you love yourself? And you do this at home. So I'm gonna do it for me. What percent do I love me? Zero, one, eight, ten, ten, two, seven, nine, seven, nine, one hundred. I know I love myself hundred percent. Hundred to me. And the way you find out is basically it was getting sticky, sticky on, the, on the right answer. Yeah. If it's it's one like percent, it's gonna be sticky on one. Hundred is gonna be on hundred. So whatever it is for you, just test and you find out what exactly it is. Now um, we're gonna be doing a lot of testing. A lot of testing. Uh, and, and and of course uh, you want to do a lot enough bodies of light so you can rewind this video, go to the website, do other videos in the Universal Edition. But you have to have your energy really high. So you need to do enough bodies of light. So rewind this if you haven't, uh, uh, don't, if you're not getting the testing done right, or go to another video, practice the testing more. But you gotta get into testing because we're about to get into testing. Right. So now, um, what percent, or not what percent, what number is the majority of humans on Earth energetically? And so- This is a fun one. This is, um, now 10 is neutral. Above a 10, the Dalai Lama typically is a billion to a trillion. He's plugging into a lot of 
yeah. a light, a lot of creative vibration. And, um, uh, and the secret is always you can test only as high as you are. So if right. your energy is a zero, you'll find out that everything around you is a zero. If so you're the huh? 10, it's a 10. If you're million, you'll find out a lot of other Right. So stuff. the reason a lot of people aren't feeling the energy is because their energy is so low. Because like they devolved from a limitless being of light down to... To where, where you they, were. To, to where they think they're To here, where you are right now. To where is, they uh, just have no energy. Right. Um, right. It's now, quite a roller coaster. So actually. let's... Like, <laughs> <laughs> let's check. <laughs> okay, so we're, uh, ask again. Ask what again. number? What, what number is, on average, is the entire humanity energetically? Negative Google, zero one. Um, um, less than a one. Less than one. To be so more, we're to be point more precise. One, two, three, four, yeah. Point four. Point one. Point two. Point three. Point four. Okay. So quite magnificent. Less than one. So in thirteen minutes. You can say bodies of light and raise your energy. How high? You can you can get up, up to, to a billion, billion and up more. To a billion. billion trillion. It depends it's how like you do it. Instant Buddha. If you've instant been skipping and slacking, million. yeah, you might be about thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, billion. If you really honestly do it, you'll be you about do it like three, four times. You'll definitely get to a billion. Yeah, you it's know. easy because you have to readjust and think yeah. of it this way. Right. Let's let's kind of bring up towards like. Uh, this is exactly why we have all these wars happening. This is exactly why right. we have all these separations still happening. This is exactly why we have this uh, discrimination still happening. Why women are still not 100% equally right, right, right. To, to the men. And the thing is because people are energetically constipated. And not, they don't have enough energy. They don't have enough energy to create. They're just, they're just being there. They just sit there to be there. They're yeah. not doing anything. This is the thing. The more energy we have, the, the brighter future we're so, gonna have future on. Yeah, so if yeah. we're less than uh, if we're less than one, like a ten is neutral. So the majority of mankind is is below ninety percent deficient in light just to make their body work. Yeah. So they don't even have enough energy to have any psychic abilities Nothing. whatsoever. Nothing. They're just stuck. They're they're <laughs> so low until now that um <laughs> As our, as our technological capability on the planet evolves and we have people that are 90% destructive, 90, mm -hmm. actually 96% mm -hmm. destructive, mm -hmm. because a 0.4 would be 96% below neutral. So mankind right now on Earth, you, would, you could say is a, oh my gosh, you could say mankind is almost like being 90% destructive, it's almost like a virus. Yeah. In it is. That, in, it, but the virus isn't that it's mankind. The virus is that it's the level at which mankind operates. Yeah. Is 96% so low that, that the planet is going towards a devolution. Right. Which means that as humans, because our overall vibration is 96% low, mm -hmm. if Tin is neutral, so humans would be balanced with the environment. We're ninety six percent on a on a devolution mode. And Hate. I just want to yeah. bring up something I read in uh, Departures magazine, which is one of my favorite U.S. magazines. Yeah. And there was an article on Alexandra Ginsburg, who is marrying biotech or biotechnology. Yeah with the artist creative community to see what they could create. Right. So why test? Because if you're testing and creating amazing new futures yeah. for us, you will always create the future that is going to be the best for all of humanity. Right, and with our technology, we've been talking a lot about biotechnology where in just like your blood pressure, we could create a watch mm -hmm. where you could see how much chi, how much energy was in your body. And if we could keep people above a 10, yeah. uh, our, our humanity, least, yeah. you know, and, and, and we can, you know, bodies of light will take them up to a billion and higher in less than 13 minutes. It's like an instant Buddha. Um, but this, we could, we could marriage technology to evolve mankind into a more creative mode. Uh, yeah. Right now, Let's, and I, I kind of want to get real on, on, on like where Earth is at. Mm. Um, what, the, at the rate that we're toxifying the environment. Yes. Uh, what, uh, on Earth, at the rate that we're going currently, mm. how long uh, 
will will it be able to sustain uh, human life? How long will our planet be able to? Well, how long will it be able to sustain like without huge genetic devolution? Because right. the thing with toxins is that they damage the genetic code. Right. So how how long before the toxins are so bad that they're damaging the genetic code where the human species just go on a dwindling spiral? How long? What do you get on that? Let's <sighs> let's test it, and you at home can test. Um, you just test on all the time. It's not long. No. 20 to 30 years? What do you get? 25, 25 years? Yeah. I'm 20. Yeah. So we're, we're at a point where... So we're not talking global warming. We're talking toxins. Toxins. In radiation, the toxins, pesticides, chemicals. Radiation. Um, above which Earth can handle. Um, now, that's like almost unreal. Totally almost unreal. Oh, when, when, when we say a number like that, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm sure... People but, at home are like, wow, that's, how can they say that, you know? Well, you can test it for yourself, get your own answer. And the thing is, yeah. I mean, uh, things will get better as, as we all kind of raise the vibration so and get to So, let's the ask thing. another question. What percent yeah. is mankind going towards its one future, which is its highest and best state that it could be? Oh, what percent hmm. is mankind right now on doing its highest and best of where it could be, and let's test. I got it. You got it. You got two. You got four percent. Doing two, what do you get? Yeah, I'm a hard grader. I got about almost a one. Yeah, so we're getting like one to four, which is so, not high. Which, uh, which is well, actually our best life. One to four percent of where the planet could be, <laughs> making things better. I don't, now, know, I don't know about you guys, but to me that's really exciting. Yeah. That is like a 96 percentile available to us now to, to create look at our yeah. planet Earth to be the glorious <coughs> structure she was meant to be. Yeah. So what that says is that within the framework that we are right now, that things could be 96 percent better, but right now they're not. And it's the karma of everyone together that's co-creating this us. lower vibration. Now, I'm going to have you test something that is very revealing that may... <coughs> okay, I don't think I like it already. <laughs> no. Um, Let's test it. Let's have fun with it. <laughs> okay, so at this lower level. Where we are now. Where we are. Because everything is coming together, we have competing ideologies. Yes. We have people that are on an old mode. I mean, you have people who are wearing clothes from 500 years ago. People who are on an old, old mode of thinking and in a new world, with our technology where it's at, if we don't evolve, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. <coughs> um, because our technology is higher, the world is communicating. You have different ideologies competed and grew in different parts of the world to civilize those parts. Now, those differing things, and we're going to say, uh, well, you know, you have Christian, you have Hindu, you have Muslim, you have Buddhist, you have different groups, and as they feel, in whatever way that they feel separated, and one tries to take over another, uh, because the world is becoming a smaller place, what percent is that leading towards an uninhabitable earth mm. at the rate that it is right now going? Um, and let's get a percentage, 10, 20, 30, 60, 70, 60. I got 80. <coughs> I get 60, 70, 70. So. That's super high. That's really high. With the ideology as it stands today, we are at about a 70% uh, with in the consciousness of society in which the planet will become uninhabitable because of that we have the technology and then the competing ideologies right. which which become untenable for the planet. Um, and I, I, um, I, heard, I heard it expressed like this. Where you were born and the people that surrounded you as you grew up created your ideologies, your belief systems. Yeah. And if you were born just 17 miles down the road in another community into another set of ideologies, 
you would now be at war with your family now. Like, it doesn't right. really make a lot of sense when you think about it totally because doesn't make of any where sense. you were born. And, and we got to look, we got to definitely, we're going to come to an acupuncture point on the planet. We yes. got to look at Israel and Palestine. Great. Right? Um, so, you have differing ideologies that are so diametrically opposed that it's like they can't come to odds. Now, because everyone's energy is so low, mm -hmm. they, they typically don't remember past lives. Right. Now, if, let's say, in Israel-Palestine, let's say Israel in Hebrew, Palestine in uh, Arabic, let's say 5% <clears throat> of the population in that area new bodies of light and was doing it and they started remembering past lives mm -hmm. right what percent of those people mm -hmm. would love each other completely mm -hmm. let's test of the people who started doing bodies of light and remembering their past lives what percent would they love each other, no matter if they were Palestinian or, or Israeli? Intentional, so maybe not. Got a hundred. A hundred. It's a hundred. Yeah. Now, what does that mean? That means that. So I just want to explain that. Yeah. So um, um, my birth religion this lifetime was Jewish, and in past lifetimes was Muslim. So when you know that your last life was Muslim, or that your next life could be Hindu, you there. You cannot help but love everybody's Everybody. yeah. opinion. It's just a yeah. belief system for this lifetime. And, and the whole thing is, is that as you start remembering, it's not, not a biased opinion. It's not an ideology that someone's teaching you. It's your own memory. Right. It's so you as you start remembering these past lives, right. you know, and, and we want to have a bunch of young people in that area yes <clears throat> half the stadium we're talking to you israeli half the stadium <laughs> uh palestinian mm. and have them remember their past lives mm. and then see what cool. happens mm -hmm. the, the thing is this is that this all comes from raising your vibration mm -hmm. and testing and testing now let's test now so here's I, testing I, wait i just want to be clear here <coughs> we're not saying your religious beliefs are right or wrong no. we're just saying test Yes. Is that creating your best life for you now? Yes. Be selfish. Start with yourself. Create your best life now and watch how it evolves and just lifts everybody all around you. Yeah. The thing is, life will bring us all together and, and those blockages, this hatred, this, this, I mean, these things will just disappear because light and darkness cannot occupy the same space. So as you bring into the light, your love evolves. You start to be more loving, more caring, more curious, more interesting, more, more wise. Things will just get better at you. Mm -hmm. So are you willing to be just better in every way? Stop being less judging and loving more? This is, this is something that's going to help the whole mankind. If you think you're not a scientist, you're not a military, you're not a politician, you're not rich enough to do a big change, this is lie. Yeah, one yeah. single drop is enough to change the whole outcome. So as yeah. you do like it, we all go up. A single candle, one candle, dispels the darkness. Yeah. You yes. are that one candle. Now I want to talk about the path into the light. Yeah. The path into the light is full of pleasure. Yes. Now there's a very simple uh, nature of testing. What's good for me makes me stronger. Right. Hold your arm up. Hold. I'm holding. Hold. I love me. I love, I love me. me. I love me. And I hate me. I hate me. Okay. So what's good for you makes you stronger, what's bad for you makes you weaker, right? This basic nature of your internal guidance system to be able to test what's good for you or what's bad for you. This is a basic nature when you raise your vibration that you can do this. It's They've had divining your, rods, it's also your pendulums. Birth, right? They've it's done this birth. forever, right? Mm -hmm. So, if this became common knowledge, testing, if the politicians and the people at large allowed mankind to test what their path into the light, what was better for them, if 
the TV stations and radio stations and social networks allow people to learn how to test mm -hmm. and follow the path into the light for themselves. Mm -hmm. What should I eat? Who should I date? Who should I vote for? What should I do? Is that person telling the truth or are they lying? Yeah. <clears throat> now, if the planetary structure allow all of us to test, because it's simple. It's the next great leap for mankind. If humanity understood this basic premise, what percent would that all by itself change the world into its highest and best one future? Let's test it. Let's all test it. I get 94 maybe. It's very high. Up nice. <coughs> Yay! Nine. You tested at home. So what does that mean? It's it's something's got to change the whole world. It, it it means that this testing, this thing we keep talking about testing, that ninety four or higher, the entire planet would evolve into a, a higher utopia because the average people we're able to test that creative vibration, that path into the light, and we'll be able to follow their highest path. And I also want to add that I believe the greatest source of untapped brain power right now is at the bottom of the so-called pyramid on this planet. So I invite a grassroots insurgence of testing, just test. Should yeah, I teaching this? everybody. Is this vitamin <coughs> good for me? Just because you read somewhere right. that your body needs this, ask, does my body need this? True. So what's good for you makes you stronger, what's bad for you makes you weaker. So let's talk about your life. Mm. What percent are you living your one best future? Right now. Test it. Test it. And we'll all check our own too. What percent am I living my best life now? My best future I got it. now. Yeah, my best, my best one future oh, oh, oh. In life, one future now, like now, now. And I got mine. Ninety-three for me. I got ninety-nine. Woohoo! What's yours? Eighty-six. Eighty-six. So you see these high now. We're following the light, and so we're very high. And testing on that. So if, if you're lower, if you're only at 2 or 3 or 10, I want you to ask this question. If I did buy the light at least three times a day, what percent would you have your one best future life? Test. Check. What's your answer? And check. Count. Negative rule zero, one, nine, ten, ten, twenty, thirty, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, six, seven, eight, ninety, one hundred. See where it gets sticky. What's your answer? What is it for you? Say it. You know? <laughs> so you understand that what are we plugging into when we're testing futures? We're plugging into your, future. Your heart is future healthy. visions. Mm -hmm. The only reason that only so few people saw future visions in the past was because the average of humanity was so low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's time to raise the average to a billion. Mm -hmm. It's time to go from a one to a billion. It's time to raise the average. We have the chance to evolve past our differences, to come into a oneness, to follow the path into the light. I just want to repeat that. It's such a strong point. We have the opportunity now to evolve past our differences. Hold that thought for a moment. Past our differences. And, oh, here's another, another one we want to do for our one future. This is really big for the planet. Okay. And what, what percent is um, where, where the common scientific knowledge is holding down that is trying to hold down that people have past lives? Now, because that is being suppressed to a certain degree on the planet, <coughs> what percent 
is that lowering the highest and best future for the entire planet. Mm. Okay, what percent low bringing down is that bringing down that, that people don't, un, that everyone doesn't understand that we have past lives. Okay? You might want to have, make it more clear today. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it. What percent is it lowering? And I'm going to do it right now. Let's count. Lowering. Lowering. Zero, Zero. One, two, nine, ten, ten, twenty, three, four, fifty, fifty to sixty percent. That means that because people don't know that they have past lives and future lives and future lives, the karma they don't understand that what they do now can affect them in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so what you so, did in the past is affecting. Yeah, what you now. did in yeah. the past. So it's washed away with light and love, mm -hmm. but. The whole thing is, is that we need to evolve in the understanding that we have past lives, that we have future lives. We need to, just like you have ancient aliens, we need to have past lives before Earth technology. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's another thing I want to bring in. So, uh, before Earth technology. <laughs> so, now, let's do it the other direction. What percent higher will the planet go towards its highest and best utopia if it's common knowledge that we have past lives Wow. And future lives. So what percent will that 67. cause our planet to be better? Seven. Got 78. Right now. So. I get 70 now. 70% 70. <coughs> 70 better. Wow. Just to understand. This is, and this is scientific. It's observation. You can, with bodies of light, you could have a thousand people do bodies of light and look at past lives. And it's duplicatable over and over and over and over a thousand times. That's scientific. Mm -hmm. Independently. Yeah, I mean, the so thing is, is, that, is that we have to evolve. We cannot survive with old, outdated ideas and this new technology that we have on the planet. Mm -hmm. What? Time to look up the skies i mean if, as we evolve we're probably gonna just eliminate using the fossils the fuel the oils and just start looking up to the sky using the solar energy the wind energy the, yeah. the water energy anything so how about um cleaner energy let's ask that question hmm. if people started doing bodies of light remembering past lives and they documented the before earth technology mm -hmm. on these past lives what percent cleaner could our energy be within the next 30 years okay. let's check mm -hmm. zero mm -hmm. i get 70. i get high 60s i got high 60s. so 60 to 70 percent cleaner energy within 30 years is what we tested within 30 years if we started utilizing before our technology and that people remember very commonly when they do bodies of light. And just think of this, <laughs> we just tested like a, 10 minutes before that if we're not gonna do, we're not gonna evolve with this high percentages in 25 years, we're gonna go in different direction. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so that would be total cataclysm. It'll, yeah, it'll make it or break it right now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're at a point where things are coming together. We're either going to evolve Which or, is our hope. or things are gonna go an uncomfortable direction. For you. Which is why we're taking this stand, which is why we're suggesting you learn testing and save bodies for light, because we want this planet to go on in a healthy, sustainable way for our lives. Yeah. For, for our your kids, life. for your future, for the, for the future for your of your kids. kids. Yeah. So I want you to come over here and give your two cents. Come on. <laughs> come on, sit where I'm sitting. There's come also um, a great <laughs> quote because this um, is great. I, I forget wanna... who said this, okay. but the quote was, yeah, when you plant sit. a seed well, for a tree, <clears throat> you're not planting it for yourself. You're planting it for your grandchildren. And that's what we're here to do, is to create a better planet now and for your future and for your children. And as Vitaly said, for your grandchildren. Yeah, and this is our dear friend Russell Foster, and he's a, the recent one of the people who actually released the dark core, listing all the past lives possibly that you can ever see. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, um, and what was your what's your uh, radio show again? Exploring the evolution of human consciousness on Blog Talk Radio. Right, and yeah. you understand that things have evolved, right? Oh, absolutely. So if you look at what you know, you had the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, the, you had different ages. Mm -hmm. 
we have a new age that we could go into and of course yes. it's going to go into bioenergetics mm -hmm. into testing mm -hmm. i mean what's your viewpoint of of a lot of this of what? the evolution you're taught that's what your show is about absolutely and that's the that's the whole purpose i mean one of the one of the most important things about the human journey if you will is is the accumulation of massive amounts of information from all these different lifetimes and as you guys were talking about before it's accumula it's the accumulation of understanding different religions and different ideologies and all these different ex experiences and then mm -hmm. at some point in time we begin to put all this together for a betterment for ourselves yeah. individually but also for the planet right and, and after you've seen us. like thousands of lifetimes <laughs> your personal I mean, you, you, exactly. end up, you end up loving everything i mean <laughs> right. you love a little that's why the buddhists would meditate a long time they love a snail you know they're you know a, an ant I mean, you know, I mean, what, 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 well, what's your viewpoint of it? Well, and again, that's, the, that's, that's really on a, on a kind of a theoretical scale. The whole idea is to get to a point where you have the experiential <laughs> understanding of what oneness is really about. That, you, that we might seem like we're four different people sitting up here, but we're all connected. And we're all, we all come from the same source. And right. so there's nothing to, to hate about anything else. Anything, uh, anything outside of ourselves is just another part of us. It's just a different mm -hmm. kind of expression. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's what it really comes down to. And, and like you true. said, then you begin to love and, you've, and you, you really, not in theory, love other people but you really have a genuine feeling of what love is all about for everything right wrong good bad different or not whatever it seems like it's all the same it's all the, same. So, all the one so what do you see what do you see for the on the positive for the greatest hope for mankind how do you see that in the best one future that we could evolve what would you see happening well, I think that's the biggest thing is when people become more awake, more aware of the tools that they have available to them, the, uh, the information that comes from past life experience, for example, mm -hmm. some of the things that we explore here. I mean, this just opened up so much potential. You know, and uh, you know, it goes right back to the whole idea that when we don't have any, any kind of programming whatsoever, which is really a lot of what this work is all about, that everything is a possibility. Yeah, and, and it's that's, the programming that's also that keeps thing. us stuck. Is, is that bodies of light <clears throat> washes away programming from this and past lives mm -hmm. so it it cleans everything to where you're just a beautiful shiny sun it's like a total reboot it's right. like uh, cleaning up your hard drive and it just up you know and just and it's available for any kind of software it comes right mm -hmm. so what do you what do you see i want i want to uh check and see if there's anything <laughs> what else, what else, what else? how many ideas are yeah around this is there? like this is like yeah this is this is really really profound well i think you know. the biggest thing is people are afraid they don't they they're stuck in their ideologies their belief systems and like like we were talking about or you guys were talking about earlier in the video is that you know not only are they stuck in a specific ideology that keeps them locked in there but they're afraid or they feel like it's wrong to explore other ideologies mm -hmm. yeah right and so and that's what's keep, keep, keep if, if, if point. people stay stuck <clears throat> in their born in ideologies what percent are we going to have our one best planet, one future. New zero one. Yes. Ninety nine percent the worst future. If if what people are born in, they stay stuck in. We either evolve or perish. What's your viewpoint on that? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like what? I mean, well, it's the same thing. It's like either we're growing and expanding and, and evolving or we're devolving the other way around. And there's a lot of people on the planet that are devolving. But luckily, you know, there's a lot of people that are evolving and really working on expanding their own consciousness and their own development. And that's kind of holding its own and actually, you know, keeping, keeping, well, the, I will keep, say at least we're, at least we're a, a point bit. four positive. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which is, because yeah. at least we're not negative number. <laughs> Um, which during, well, let's ask, during uh, World War III, what was the number? Two. World War III. Oh, World War, sorry. <laughs> You're getting ahead of yourself a little we bit. test that. <laughs> um, World War II, what number, what number was that? What was the average, the average number of people on the Earth? For what? Of the energy during the middle of World okay. War II. Okay. It was uh, a negative let's, one, zero, yeah. one, ten. Yeah. Negative yes. ten. Yeah. It was a negative ten. So... Uh, anything below a zero is actively destructive. Uh, this ability to test mm -hmm. is going to change everything. Mm -hmm. Because you get answers for yourself, for your highest and best good. So no one can tell you. And again, we're not saying any religion is right or wrong. All we're asking is that you test. Is this creating my best life now? Yeah, and to follow your own path into the light, yes. which is do things that make you stronger. Yes, and healthier. Yes. 
yeah more and, powerful and more loving and more compassionate and do bodies of light every day <laughs> absolutely <laughs> right bring up your energy and also you can also have uh, Vitaly Okri, who is uh, over one future, you have <laughs> Cynthia Siegel, you have Charles Russell Foster mentoring, uh, Dr. <laughs> Lee Vickers, we can all help guide you on your path into the light, teach you these methods, uh, go to bodiesoflight.net or drlee.org, mm -hmm. uh, go see the videos, learn how to test, learn how to bring in the light, feel that creative energy in your life surging through you it's yeah. so exciting how cool is it i want to say Woo. how cool is it to be pulling in a lot of light and to see future visions what what how awesome is that it is what, what really cool it is that? really nice and 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 it, it kind of you know some of my future visions actually i depicted in let's say on twitter and some of them went up on the facebook and the eastern block a social media a social connection like a vk and and some of them are actually there about like um some of the disasters and uh, some of them not as right as you could think they would but uh, there is a lot of possibilities and all this future vision just coming through from the point that we're at right now as and so what do you see happening in russia right now uh, well, in Russia, uh, Russia, it's really, you know, I'm, I'm, my back, I'm coming from Ukraine, that's what I was born and raised, and uh, it's really hurting to see how people hating each other. You can just go on and that. that's the path into the darkness. Darkness, total darkness, because people hate each other. They, cause, and the thing is, there is more, the, the worst part of it, there is more discommunication happening. There is, a, let's say, the, the latest, I just, I just seen it yesterday, I don't know how updated the news <coughs> is, I've seen that one of the politicians, uh, it's actually she is trying to eliminate studying foreign languages for 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 kids at school they, sh they, they say they should be paid before it was like a, just like a regular subject at school so you can they say because they what this gonna do to you basically uh, they will eliminate the connection and people will be more disconnected it's gonna bring back the cold war right. times and which you is gotta, you gotta understand that anything that separates us is a path into the darkness mm -hmm. Anything that brings us together is a path into the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the light brings us together. <clears throat> Being able to speak languages and communicate, communicate, so, connect. You know, it's almost like Russia is going backwards into the darkness right now. And it's unfortunate. The thing is, I'm really hoping more people and more people in Russia will start testing. As I do have my family and relatives, and I mean, I call it like a lot of friends and 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 a lot of people I love in Russia right now. And I'm really willing those people to start testing, doing bodies of light, so it can, they can test. Should I vote for this person? Is this person going to make a brighter future for me? Is this person right. lying or not? And, and we need money. You know, those of you in Ukraine or Russia, you can donate money specifically <laughs> to have him do things in Russian and Ukrainian. We and also, huh? Yes, and the thing is, the bodies of light, the technique itself, we just, we just said, it's already translated into Ukrainian and Russian, and we're looking for making more videos and uh, bringing up to the mass media from but Ukraine and money. Russia. And, and, and we, need, we need the flow and the energy to get it out there. Yeah. So we're here right now, we're doing what we can, but this is like... But like only, that, said, and only that much we can do, when yeah, you, if you connect like it, treasure. if you know someone. This technology, this knowledge is like the biggest treasure, like a billion dollar treasure waiting for you. Mm -hmm. And it's something that could go to mankind and, and people could do it so easily and it could change everything. Just by testing. But we do need help disseminating it. We need help uh, in radio, television. We need help with films. We need Media, investors, everything. money. Um, so get in touch with us and help. Uh, but we definitely need help to get this out, out there in a major way. Mm -hmm. And so if you start doing Bodies of Light, it changes your life and you have some wherewithal in media or publishing, your karma for helping millions of other people is beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> Right, and we're talking about that because basically you'll feel when you're doing the right thing, and and the thing is karma comes back. Karma comes back. Either you do the right mm -hmm. thing, you do the bad thing. Either you put up the things that disconnect us, right. or you make something that's gonna make us hate each other, right. or you're gonna do something that's gonna love, let, make us love more the each other. The path into the light or the path into the darkness, and you can test it. Mm -hmm. When it's over a ten, it's on a path into the light. Check your check those people that are trying to go get into the power. Test them. Are they telling the truth or the lie? Politicians. Is this highest and best? Can you vote for somebody else? Is this going to be? Are they really going to do the things that they're saying? This could really this change the world. 
Because especially yeah. this, we're having this thing happening in the Eastern Bloc with, between Ukraine and yeah. Russia right now. Yeah. The other thing is happening in the Middle East. It's right. the similar thing. And we're really looking forward to this, you know, people evolving, getting better. Because as you know, as I, I really want to just you know, be able to, let's say, travel across the globe and go to different and countries no matter people. where you are. Because if people knew how to test and they were doing a little bit of bodies of light in Arabic over in Iraq, and you had those people that were a negative million destroying the museum, people would be like, wow, that's sticky. Yeah. That's destructive. So people wouldn't get pulled into the black hole of negativity, which is what's going to save mankind. And it's part of one future. Because right? the thing is, uh, what are you looking for? Is it's not your your happiness, your your light, your freedom. It's not something you're gonna get after you do something. It's it's now. Yes. Your inner light, your savior, is coming from within you. Yeah. There is nobody else. The heaven is happily ever now. Yeah. Not that's after. Thing. Let's add, let's check that. Yeah. <coughs> if people realize that heaven was an energy that flows through you now, and it was a mass consciousness thing, what percent? would that take us towards uh, a more uh, one future for the planet, a, a one future high semester future? 60, right? Yeah, I got like 88. 60, 60. I got higher than that. So it's a high number. It's a high. This is another important thing. So yes, heaven is now. Only now. That's how you create it. Because a lot of people, they, they think they have to suffer. And the suffering is a lie. And the suffering is a lesson as well. Mm -hmm. Either you can have your best life or your best lesson. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I was speaking to a client the other day, and she kept saying, oh, it's so hard to do this. And, oh, this is so hard. And <laughs> yeah. this is it's such and a hard. responsibility. And so hard. And what I, you yeah. speak is what you're creating. Throw away the word hard. Look for easy and joyful. Do testing, follow the light, create your best life, or, or stay stuck. Why? Why would you choose that? You don't have to do that anymore. Right. You and can make heaven on earth in your life now. And we definitely need, I want to come back to investors. We need help with the Lightworkers International, uh, with cruises and events and stadiums, and we, we definitely want to do that. And uh, we need that. Yeah. We are one world. Events. If you have your connection, yeah, we, we help with that. We do our so. part, but we need help from those who can do their part right. to help the world. Yes. Yeah, we need help. You got to show up and help. You know, you can't just be where you are. Look at the planet going to heck. <laughs> and, uh, and think you're not a part and, of it. And, but yeah. It starts with you. You you follow the path. You do it for a month. Do bodies of light every day for a month, three times a day. Do it. Do the video, bodiesoflight.net. <coughs> do the universal edition, go down, do it every day for a month, and see that your life isn't the most amazing, the most awesome that you've ever had ever, and then after you experience that, then help us <laughs> take the simplicity to the world in over 22 languages. And We're also, all, yeah. you're still going to be here in a month, so why not work on creating your best life for one month, just try it. Yeah. And You'll see how that amazed. goes. We need to, have, as we, as as a one future, we're all connected as a as a mm -hmm. as a leaves, mm -hmm. you know, on a, on a tree branch. And yes. we, the only way for we all of us connected. to blossom, if we all help each other, we all make the difference. If you think you're small enough, it's a lie. If you think you're not available enough, it's a lie. If you think you're not powerful enough, it's a lie. Right. Change it. Be your best life. Evolve. Do your best. Help others. Help yourself yeah. first. And the energy within you is going to make all the difference. That's the only thing. And the thing is, as you bring more energy, you will start plugging into your, you start to see like a futures, you'll, you'll start to be yeah. more guided. Two bodies of light, you're going to start seeing your future visions, you're going to go out of body, you're going to have telepathy, you're going to start repelling things that are bad for you, attracting things that are good for you. Or, it's so great. Or if, right. you, if you're somewhere in the area, we're here in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, near the airport. If you just come on <coughs> over, come on over for a class. We have a class. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday classes. Yes, yeah. come on over. Do the Sunday, breath work with us. Yeah. See yeah. your future. Yeah, learn your psychic skills. Wednesday, I mean, see your past lives. Seven. Sunday. I mean, it's, it's all available for you. We're here yeah. for you. We do our part, but just do your part as well. Just, you know, if you think you, you can be safe sitting behind your closed doors and windows doing nothing and good things will come to you just like that. Yeah, but you gotta, it's you gotta, not pump, true. you gotta bring in the light. And yeah. you're gonna learn to test how much light you have, your path, you know, it's exciting. You've already tried everything else. 
You've been to all the lectures, you've gone to all the seminars, you've bought all the books, the self-study, the home study. Why not try Bodies of Light for 30 days with... For free! <laughs> online! <laughs> this is not a new religion, it's just, just basically improving the belief it's in yourself. It's energy, it's light. It's your inner self, your higher it's self. One. Yes. oneness. Yes, it's you, 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 it's you, you, and you. Mm -hmm. And even more of you. Yeah, and it, it's, it's, it's basically omni... Uh, it's oneness, which is basically all religions and, and everything at once. So you have whatever religion, do that addition. Universe, God, Buddha, Jesus, Allah, Yahweh, Krishna. And if you have something else, fill in the blank. <laughs> yeah, and it's the all is, good. Yeah, and if you, I mean, if you're able to, you know, to help to promote it, or you're able to translate it, or or publish it somewhere, or to put up on any kind of like media or anything, just do your part. You are welcome here. Just come on over, do your part, yeah, help uh, us, help, help us. you help yourself and the rest of the, help your family, help your parents, help your kids for the future and, and your grandkids. And it's going to be great. This, I, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little emotional, I guess, because I know, I know. I know. His, his goal is to help Ukraine. It's beautiful. And that's what brought Dr. Lee and I together originally, was that we test everything that we're doing. And we want the world and the energy to test everything. The energy brought us together. <laughs> it was rather interesting. The, and that will be on another video. That's, <laughs> but the testing is your path into the light. Your best life. And if you're doing things that make you weaker, you're going on the path into the darkness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the path into the light is full of pleasure. Mm -hmm. So if you're happy what percent of the time, that's oh, what that's percent. Oh, let's like check it. Test. Let's okay, test that. what percent are you happy? What, what percent of the time? What percent am I time. happy? Let's check. What percent what of the percent time? What percent? And everyone's saying, am, am I, I happy? happy? Count. Negative Google. 10, 20, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. I'm 98. What do I you got 98. I'm 93. I got room to grow. Yeah. So I could be more happy. Yeah. Woohoo! So <laughs> if it, that's the percent that you're on the right path. So if you're only 2 or 3%, that means you're 97% on the path into the darkness. That also means there's 97% more happiness available for you. In right, your yeah. Life Which now. means you're going to feel better than you can ever imagine. <laughs> yeah. So get I ready. Get ready. Right. And just and you stay tuned, plug in. I mean, just just be on the path. We just want you to start believing yourself more. Yes, believe you're, in yourself because yeah. you're a beautiful <laughs> being of light. I mean, if you that think. It can be yeah. so bright. Don't give away your powers to somebody else because it's not someone else. It's not somebody else who will, will and save never you. Dull your it's life you, for you, you, never and dull you. Your life for anyone. Yeah, stop never. waiting for someone. It's you. It's work, you. work, work on yourself. It actually takes work. It's not just like you sit and it just comes to you right it's away. It's not a belief, it's a flow. Yeah. Right. That's what you have to say, right. Bodies of Light. And it's a mantra. One other beautiful thing about Bodies of Light yeah. is that we invite you to add Bodies of Light to anything you're already doing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give up anything. It's a Don't supercharger. change anything. Just add bodies of light. We're not saying to what you're anything. doing is right or wrong. Right. We're just asking that you add bodies of light. Yeah, to yeah. add like a billion times more light into it and see how awesome it is. <laughs> if you have a meditation right. going on every morning or so, you just do your bodies of light and, and then do your and meditation. And see how And see all this vision to come through your way. Yeah, be, crazy good. You'll get wild on that because you're going to see more than you can see. You will envision more than you can envision. You'll get crazy good. faster than you can ever be healed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the power is in you. The power Have is in you. Have we convinced you yet? <laughs> I mean, how much? I mean, it's. Uh, come on up. Say, I want to see what you think of that. You've been doing Bodies of Light for how long? <clears throat> come on, get over here. Yay. Get right here. I want you to just sit right here. Come join us. Real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, nice. How long have you been doing Bodies of Light recently? Was for the last how many days? I would say already 10, 10 good days. 10 days. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So. How much better is life doing bodies of light for 10 days? Much, much better. Uh, what like percent better? Let's test. Test it. Okay. Yeah, let's test. What percent better is his life doing bodies of light for 10 days? I got it. 97. <laughs> Around there. 97. 97% yeah. percent better. It's amazing. It really is. So how cool is that? And you tested it. Yes, sir. I've been, I've been improving on my testing. So how wild first. is that? It's amazing, but really, um, because I want to, <laughs> like, like we all want to improve our lives in, in all the different parts of it. And uh, I'm trying to help my family, trying to help myself, mm 
but I understand that helping yourself first helps yes. your family is the most important. Is the most important because yes. you can't give what energy, you don't light, have. or love if you don't have it. Exactly. You have to cultivate it inside of yourself mm -hmm. in order to be able to give it. Mm -hmm. If you're sad, depressed, sick, unhappy, how much you can help somebody else you to be happy yeah. or, or healthy? You got to cultivate A zero. energy inside yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Begins from within. So 10 days, 97% better. We're ready for you <laughs> to be the next Bodies of Light miracle. Right? Yes. yes.